When I first saw Ivor, he struck me straight away as a very unique character. Despite being a crippled boy, he is able to exert great dominance, power and influence, gaining the respect of his fellow Vikings. Ivar has great self-confidence and belief, seeing himself as a god among men. Even so, everyone watching Vikings knows that Ivar has great self-confidence, but identifying what about him gives this impression is difficult. So I will be analysing the traits, beliefs and the psychology, so you too can be like Ivar the bonus. The first trait of Ivar is his rock solid self image. He sees himself as king and he believes he can achieve it and he becomes king. The self image is how you perceive yourself. Bob Proctor once said how science and psychology have isolated the self image as the biggest determinant factor for success in your life. Self image is hardwired into your mind. Without knowing it, everyone has placed and expressed an identity they have subconsciously created. We humans live within a hierarchy of social status, and we subconsciously place ourselves within that hierarchy. An easy way to understand this is in the context of school. In high school there are kids of perceived high status, the popular kids, and pupils often make friends with kids of the same level of popularity, put them on a the pedestal of higher status and value. When you perceive someone as above you, this can sometimes lead to a need for approval and validation which can make a lesser person feel extremely nervous. But that's just the point, Ivar is not a lesser person, he sees himself as a godlike figure essentially, so when he interacts with people there is no one he will perceive as a higher status. Ivar knows who he is, he has a strong self image, he is Ivar the Bone. The second trait of Ivor is that he owns his flaws. Everybody in life has imperfections and they need to deal with them, whether they're being too tall, too short, not good looking, not smart enough, not enough belief. Everybody has their own issues, but dealing with them and accepting them rather than being insecure of them for your entire life can make you strong and powerful. Ivar, with the help of his father, learns to accept the fact that he will never be like everyone else and finds strength in owning it. His perspective is that, because of his disabilities, no one in the world is quite like Ivar the Boners, and he will become the most famous Viking, despite not even being able to walk. Let me give you some advice, bastard. Never forget what you are. The rest of the world will not. Wear it like armour, and it can never be used to hurt you. The third trait of Ivar is that he's integrated his shadow. The Carl Jung shadow might be the single most important concept in psychology, yet most people living have no idea what it is. The shadow is essentially your dark side, it's all the part of your consciousness and personality that have been lost as you were raised by your parents and society. Integrating certain features like your aggression into your personality can make you much stronger and braver. You do not think like other men, you are unpredictable, and that will serve you well. Use your anger intelligently, and I promise you, my son, that one day the whole world will know and fear Ivar the Boneless. Like Ragnar said, Ivar uses his anger and aggression as a part of himself. He has 20 years of pent up emotion from being a cripple that can't walk, and he channels it and it makes him strong. When his character was first introduced, he wasn't able to control his anger and it overwhelmed him. But throughout the series, he has been able to integrate his anger and become a strong, dominant leader. When the person integrates their shadow and gets the aggressive part of themselves integrated into their personality, their faces harden. And if you look at people, you can tell because the people who are too agreeable look childlike and innocent. And the people who, well, a hyper aggressive person will look, you know, mean and cruel. But I've seen people's face changes, change, face change in the course of therapy, uh, men and women. So, and what happens is they start to look more mature, and it's it's more like they're they're judging the world as well as interacting with it properly. Once they integrate that more disagreeable part of them, it's very very necessary, and that's part of the incorporation of the Jungian shadow or the incorporation of the unconscious from a Freudian perspective. 
So, in summary, the three main reasons why Ivar is so confident is 1. His strong self-image 2. He owns his flaws and 3. He has integrated his shadow. So, that's the end of the video. That is how to be like Ivar the bonus from the life of the limitless. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe and please share it with your friends.